In 3 John 1, verse 4, it says, I have no greater joy than to hear that my children are walking in the truth. Just as you stand firm and steady in your squat, may your faith in Jesus Christ be a firm foundation and truth that you stand on. As you strengthen your physical body, remember that God delights in your spiritual growth and walking in his truth. May your relationship with him be your greatest joy and motivation to stand firm in your faith, just as you stand firm in your squat. I'm Roman Hunter. Welcome. Today we're going to be talking about the band squat exercise. Now, it's like the same regular squat, only with the addition of the resistance loop, or you can use a resistance band, um, tie the ends together, make a loop out of it, wrap it around your thighs. You can use resistance tubes if you want. And the primary movers of this exercise are the gluteal muscles and the quads. Okay? Now, with the addition of the band, it really helps to put additional emphasis on the gluteal muscles, primarily the gluteus medius. If you really want to help shape that outer contour of the gluteal muscles, which is what the gluteus medius does, it adds further shape and contour to the overall physique of the lower body there around the hips. And to strengthen the gluteus medius, it helps with, regards, with regard to providing that additional support and stability around the hip area. Now, the starting position is you're going to start with feet shoulder width apart. Make sure you have the loop or the band around your thighs. You can put it around the ankles as well. You can put it lower if you want, or you can put it above the knees if you want. Or you can have one by the ankles and one above the knees, so you can be wearing two at the same time if you want that additional challenge. All right? Or if you want to increase or improve. Yeah, if you want to increase the difficulty of this exercise. So you start with feet shoulder width apart. You want to brace your core and you want to drive the hips back as you bend the knees to sit down into a squat, as if you're sitting in a chair behind you. I'll show you from side view. Feet a little bit wider than shoulder width apart. Toes slightly outwards, you know, according to your comfort. It can either be pointing straight ahead or slightly outwards. That's up to you. Brace your core. Keep your chest nice and upright as you, you hinge back. So you drive the hips back, and as you drive the hips back, allow the knees to bend as if you're sitting in a chair, and then up. Try not to lift the heels off the floor. Try not to lift the heels off the floor, and try not to bend the back like this. A lot of people, when they're squatting, they curl the back, or they lift the knees. You can allow the knees to overshoot the toes, that's up to you. That's either here nor there at this point, right? But preferably, if it is that you have a predisposing knee problem, it would be best to try, at least initially, during the initial um, phase of this exercise. As it gets stronger, it can allow the knees to overshoot the toes a bit. But for now, you can keep the knees behind the toes or in line with the toes, right? And you do that by driving the hips back and allow the hips to lead. Right? So you drive the hips back as if you're sitting in a chair, thighs more or less parallel to the floor, back nice and upright like this in this position, and then press up through the heels and back to standing. So down, drive the hips back as if you're sitting in a chair, and then up again. If it is that you're unable to go that far down, about 90 degrees, then you can stop at 45, you can do a mini squat. Now, it is also important to add that as you squat, you want to flare the knees out against the band. When you flare the knees out against the band, it really helps to target more and put more engagement in the gluteal muscles, especially the gluteus medius. So you'll definitely feel that contraction around there. Flare the knees out against the band. So the band is giving that resistance you're pressing the knees out against the band, out that way. Try not to let the band pull the knees in. If the band is pulling the knees in, that means perhaps the band might be too strong in the resistance. You may need to get a lighter band so you can practice this exercise properly. Flare the knees out and sit back into a squat. 
This is the band squat exercise. If while performing this exercise, you begin to feel increasing pain, then start from performing this exercise. If you have uh, predisposing back problems, hip, knee, or ankle problems that you're not too sure about in terms of adding this exercise to your program, then you can seek medical advice from a physiotherapist before performing this exercise. Otherwise, some that is a wonderful exercise to add to your program. Remember to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'm Roman Hunter. Have a wonderful day. Blessings.